Hey, how's it going guys? It's me. And today I'm just going to be showing you how to upload your Google Play listening history into Last.fm. So, rest in peace Google Play, right? <laughs> to be honest, I only used Google Play for only about a year before it was officially released since it was free for beta testers. Uh, <laughs> Google promised a discount for when it got out of beta, but they finessed their way out of coming through by slightly changing the name of the service, probably from like Google Music to Google Play Music or something like that. So I said screw that and started to use Spotify, aka the comfiest labyrinthine hellhole of nested playlist folders that now only I can navigate, but never leave. But anyways, today my dear viewer, I'll be showing you exactly how to import Google Play Music into Last.fm so you can get those sweet and juicy statistics. So first things first, we're going to request our data from Google, link in the description. So I actually spent so long working on this project that you can no longer download your data from takeout. I thought it would be there, but it's gone completely. And so what I'm realizing is that this project is super niche because you would have to have used Google Play in the past, like me, are just getting into Last.fm now, and we're not using Last.fm on your Google Play and you had to download your takeout. So it's pretty niche, I know, but hopefully you'll enjoy. File however you want, and the file structure will be pretty self-explanatory. Navigate over to the song section, and you'll see that it obnoxiously lists each song data individually in its own file, which is just one line of CSV. <coughs> and also you'll notice any uploaded MP3 files, which you may want. I don't know, I didn't really need them. Anyways. I wrote a handy dandy, easily legible script that will go through and compile all of these into one file so it'll be easy to upload. I'll go over that in a second, but first, let me introduce the program that we're going to be using to upload to Last.fm, which is Shoegaze's Scrubbler. It's a pretty neat program, you can download it from GitHub, link in description, but note, it only works on Windows. I'm sure there's a lot of alternatives though for other operating systems, I just haven't tried them out. Shuge is a super cool dude, he answered all my questions on Discord, so shout out to him, which I will also link in the description, go check it out. Anyways, so his program just uploads one line at a time of CSV into Last.fm as a song, and you specify which field is what. Since some people were confused by this, I should go ahead and talk about it. There is a 3000 song a day limit to upload. That doesn't have anything to do with the program. That's a limit set by Last.fm. So you literally cannot upload more than 3,000 Scrabbles a day. So you would want to have a margin in that to allow for your normal Scrabbles to also go through as you're uploading all your previous historical Scrabbles. Unless you're using Spotify. Shuge says that Spotify Scrabbles are counted differently. So in that case, you can max out the 3,000 songs a day if you want. Anyways, now that you get what we're trying to achieve, I can explain my code a little easier. Since the program uploads one listen per line, my script simply multiplies the lines by the number of times that they were played. That's basically it. Note this section at the end where I am fixing some errors in the strings where some encoding thing didn't process all the way on Google's end. So basically, I search for the erroneous string and replace it with the correct symbol. These are all the ones I could find in my song names, but if there's more for you, you can simply copy this whole section, replace this with the messed up string, and this part over here with what you want to replace it with. You can also use this for all sorts of things like fixing any errors in the titles, uh, album artists, stuff like that. Also, you'll want to notice at the very top here is the upload size. Essentially, we're going to divide up the list of songs into files of maximum of this length, uh, that's gonna help you upload it easier. I actually suggest making this maybe half the size that you're gonna upload each day, simply because of uh, issues with the Scrabbler, where if you have two duplicate songs, or songs that are very similar, and let's say with a slightly different album name, then it's actually just gonna completely fail to upload one of them. Uh, that's an issue with Scrubbler, I think, with Shugeza Scrubbler. And I implemented a fix. Essentially, I'm splitting the files in half. And as long as you don't try to upload two of those at the same time, then you'll be fine. 
obviously inside Scrubbler, you can just select half the songs in a file or however many songs in a file and just upload those uh, at a time and that'll be a fine solution as well. All right, to delete, this array here essentially is going to ignore lines that have this string inside of them. So I use this to delete all sorts of uh, podcasts that I listen to just because I don't want my podcast scrobbled. But you can delete whatever you want. I don't know. Lastly, we do make a debug file that just has uh, a list of every song that you want to upload in the same format as above, just they're not multiplied. So if you want to upload all of those at once and see which ones go through and which ones don't, then you can do that. Like I was saying, I would uh, just select half of them first and half of them second, just so that if you do have duplicate songs, they're not going to be trying to go through at the same time. Oh, lastly, uh, you see this weird formatting here where I replaced the comma with this new delimiter. Um, essentially, you can use one of two or one of you can use whatever delimiter you want. Comma totally breaks it. Don't do comma. Um, I use this symbol here which is, it's kind of like an empty character. And that makes it easy to replace stuff later. Like you can see, I replaced all the commas with, or all the delimiters with that character. There's probably an album artist or a song with every single character in it, but this empty character, well, you won't have that issue, but uh, it's just up to you. Since I wrote in Bash, the script should run easily on Linux, Windows, and Mac. I tested it out on Linux and Windows just to be sure, and since you're going to need Windows to upload anyways, why not just do it all here? You can download my code from GitHub, link in the description, and simply add the script to path or move it to the working directory, and when you run it, it will compile all of the CSVs in its current folder as expected. Double check that the output matches what you're expecting. It'll count the number of songs, which should match the number of .csv files in your directory. You run the program either by typing in its name or double clicking it in the file browser. But note that if you click it in the file browser, you're probably not gonna get this nice output that I have for you. But also I couldn't get that to work outside of Linux either. In Windows, even when I use a terminal emulator, I can't get the output to work. Note that if you run it from terminal and you write anything afterward, this is going to be used as a output file folder. So if you don't want to overwrite your previous work, for example, then you can just use that. Lastly, you'll notice that I split the output file, which contains all the data, into files of length 3000. Then we're going to plug this into the uploading tool with fields marked appropriately. And voila. I highly suggest uploading to an alternate Last.fm first, especially since there might be errors with your first time using all of these programs. It's just a better idea to do it on another isolated account first. But you can decide whatever. And if you ever mess up and you want to delete everything off your last FM, I have a quick little video that will show you how to do that here. Anyways, thanks for watching. Stick around next time for when I discuss uploading Spotify to last FM. And the last video in the series will be explaining how to get all of your yearly stats for previous years if, like me, you're just joining last FM now. Also, I'll be showing you how to fix your current year's stats so you don't entirely mess up the data for the year that you're uploading in. All right, uh, thanks for watching. If this helped you out, then share it with your friends, <laughs> anyone using Google Play or that you want to use Last.fm with, uh, just hit them up. All right, thanks. Especially since Google Play is dying and Last.fm is on the come up. Mark my words. <laughs> All right, peace.